Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I got these beautiful, all these new napkins in. So I am going to do a um, transfer onto some polymer clay and make a couple of uh, cabochons today. And um, we will see how this turns out. So I thought I would do maybe one of these little bees which I think are so cute. I have so many here to choose from. I love all of these. And I think I'm going to do one of the smaller uh, fireflies. So I think these are the ones I'm going to use. So I will condition my clay and then we will get started. Oh, it's been a minute since I've done a video. I've been sick. So I'm back at it. So um, I got a bunch of new napkins. And, um, so I want to do a, uh, napkin transfer onto some polymer clay today. And, um, this one I got has, uh, the little bees. So I think I'm going to use, I'm not for sure which one I'm going to use, but I'm going to use one of these. And this one has the fireflies. I've kind of gotten into the fireflies lately. So I kind of like this one right here. So I've already got my, um, my clay rolled out to uh, <clears throat> to that, to the, uh, you know, I think I may do another piece because I think I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. So I'm going to condition one more piece because I'm going to make it a little thicker than this. So I'll okay, be right back. So I'm going to cut out this first Piece. This is the cutter that I'm going to use for the um, for the little bee. And actually, I think I'm going to put this cutter in a little bit of water so it'll come out a little smoother on that. Sometimes when you put it in the water, or you use a little bit of uh, of the uh, Not wax paper, but uh, like I normally will take a uh, plastic baggie and cut it, and I'll use that as my my. Uh, so I'm just putting a little bit of water on this one, so it'll come out nice and smooth. And I did cut my, um, I roll my, on my pasta machine. I am on a number one, which is the thickest on my machine. So I'm using a number one, and then I'm also uh, doubling, like doing two layers of that. So I'm going to do roll this back out again for my other piece. And this clay has a little bit of sparkle in it, but it doesn't really really doesn't matter because the sparkle will show from the back side but not from the front side i have to get this a little bit thinner or not thinner but larger okay i just added a little bit more clay to that piece and i still may need to Get it just a little bit wider. I think that one's gonna work. Maybe not this one. Okay, so now I've gotten this, I think, wide enough to get my two cuts out of it. I just want to roll this together a little bit to get it to. Burnish together. This one I'm going to cut this way. and just cut this a little bit better. Just to get 
coming off of that. And just go around and kind of smooth your edges. right there. You can kind of see the thickness of how I've got them. They're, uh, I've used the uh, thickest on my pasta machine and then I doubled it so I like because I layered two together so so then we are going to because I want this one on here so I'm just going to position that but I want it print side down going to kind of push it around these edges you just want to burnish it on really good and then I'm just going to take just a little bit of water and kind of go around the napkin it'll just let it kind of tear off of there. Just so I leave a little bit, because I want it to kind of come down onto the edges of the clay. And I'm just going to leave that, the paper doesn't really matter because I'm going to sand the edges of it anyway. So I'll bake it just like this one. This one I'm going to move over before I do that. I should have done that on that other one and moved it over beforehand. I'm actually going to use this one because this little bee here is on the edge. And you don't want to use these edges where you feel that rough part because it just doesn't come out good. So, you know, I might cut another one because I don't think I cut that one wide enough around though. So, let me do another one. I don't know that I have one facing that way that's gonna be a good, good, size one though. I think I'm going to go with this one. All right. Let's see if we can get the whole thing on there. And yeah. What 
I am going to do is let me get just a little piece of typing paper. I'm just going to use that to burnish it on really good. You just want to make sure you don't have any kind of air bubbles or anything underneath. Okay, so I'm gonna bake these on 275 for about 25 minutes, maybe 30, cause these are a little bit thicker. And we will come back and see how they turn out. Okay, so they have baked and cooled and they still got the napkins on them. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put them down in a little bit of water and we're just going to let these soak for about five ten minutes and then i'm going to come back and i will rub off the paper so we're just going to let them soak and i'll be back in a minute okay so we've let these soak for about five minutes or so and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to rub gently with my thumbs and my fingers and it just removes the excess of the napkin. And it leaves hopefully leaves the uh, the main you don't want to rub it too hard because you don't want to take off parts that you don't want off. And I'll probably go with the, the sander and sand around these edges. And the black back is just white. And you can just kind of feel it with your your fingers as it as it rubs off of there. And then it just leaves the uh, the impression of the picture on the clay. And then once this dries, I'm gonna come back and uh, we'll probably finish it off with some resin. Because the resin just gives it a beautiful shine and seals it in. And then that's how I kind of put my, uh, my carrier on for the chain is I'll put it on the back with some resin. I think I've got most of that one off. That feels still a little bit. Now I'll work on this one. And you can just feel it, kind of the paper rolling off of it as you rub your thumb across it. And it just totally leaves just the, uh, the impression, the ink. And like I say, don't rub it too hard because you want, you want to, uh, your picture intact. All right, I think I've got that one off too. Feels like it. And I'll go with the, underneath the faucet and rinse these really good because I just had them in this little container with this water. So I just want to rinse off all the extra little pieces of um, paper off of there and then once these dry we're going to come back and we're going to finish them off with our resin okay so they're all dry and we're going to do the 
the resin on them. And I'm going to use uh, this clear UV resin because I'm going to put them under the UV light so that it'll dry really quick. And I had gotten these cute little stamps the other day and I had was making a video on these and it, the video didn't come out. I had made a huge blooper, but these are really cute too. So I may uh, also resin these and put the, the um, carriers on them so that I can make them into the necklaces, but I'll do this video again because I thought it turned out so, these turned out so cute, but my video was just a big blooper. I didn't do it right, so it didn't turn out. Okay. So the first thing I always do is I do my edges with the resin. I And I also just went in and sanded these really good. So I sanded the edges. There's still a little bit of, not really. So I sanded all the edges off. So they're looking really good. So we're gonna put the resin around the, uh, around the edges first. Let's see, one of these now, nah, these silicone brushes. this one and then we'll do the front and then we'll do the back I need to order some more UV resin I'm almost out so And like I say, I always do the edges first, and then I'll come back and do the the top, and then I'll do the front side, and then I'll do the back side. So I use these little silicone brushes because they're just so easy to work with, easy to clean up. When I'm working with the resin, they're really, really, really nice. So I've got all the edges done. I'm going to do this one. I just put them under the UV two or three times on the 60 seconds. All right, we're gonna do the tops. The nice thing about this uh, resin is it's self-leveling. So once you get it on your item, you want to get it all the way to the edges. And then, of course, I put a little bit of heat to it to take out any of the any of the air bubbles. But it it levels itself off. So it if you let it sit just a few minutes before you put it under the UV light, it'll it levels off and it just comes out nice and nice and smooth.
gonna put a little bit of heat to it to uh, get the air bubbles out. Okay guys, I have resin them, put the, the, um, well these, these I didn't show you making them, I just wanted to show you the finished product, but these are the two, so I'm going to bring my camera down, so these are the ones that I put the napkins on, they turned out so pretty, it's like a firefly, this is a little bee, and then these are the ones that I did the other day, but I just, my video didn't turn out. So since they're in the same theme of the fireflies and the bees, I thought I would put them here with these so you could see them because they're so cute. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you'll give me a like and if you hit that bell and um, that will notify you when I upload the next video and if you would give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it's growing growing so i'm i'm getting subscribers every day so um hopefully y'all will be here when i put upload the next one just hit that little bell thank you so much for watching